My name is David O'Sullivan and I'm the Curator of Historic Vessels at the Maritime Museum in Sydney. And today we're standing outside Fire on Water's Edge, an exhibition that I curated that reflects upon the bushfires of 2019 to 20. And I'd like to show you through some of my favourite parts of the exhibition. This image you see a fleet air arm air crewman in what is an MRH-90 Navy helicopter. You'd assume it's night time, but I think this was taken not that long after midday. They flew out of Naura, HMS Albatross, which is a fleet air arm Navy base, um, and they went out to respond to a rescue call. This was taken on New Year's Eve 2019 down in Malua Bay, just near Batemans Bay. In addition to people sheltering at the beaches, there were a lot of surf life savers that were down there trying to help people and support them because um, a lot of people were coming from inland. So this is the kind of artwork done by David Pope, who's a political cartoonist for the Canberra Times. And it reflects upon the fire that hit Mogo on the south coast. And in particular, the zoo in Mogo was under threat on New Year's Eve. The fire came very close to the uh, circumference of the zoo and the work obviously shows the koala clinging to the neck of the giraffe as it would if it was clinging to a tree. David commissioned these works at the time as a fundraising relief effort for people suffering from the bushfires on the south coast and there's a whole range of other ones and each respectively shows the native fauna and flora of each environment. Like in Naruma, we see flying whales. Mara Marang, we've got the kangaroo. And Tibindilla, we've got a platypus. So it really makes a point as well on the huge impact that the fires had on wildlife at the time. This is also an artwork by David Pope called Holding Together, Keeping Apart. It's basically a visualization of what happened immediately after the bushfires were over. There was a huge amount of rainfall uh, on the south coast that extinguished immediately a lot of the fires, um, but it caused a whole range of issues to urban areas that are already um, suffering. The other thing this makes comment upon is the advent of COVID that came almost immediately after the bushfires. At the time when the fires were ravaging the south coast, Kangaroo Island, Western Australia, Tasmania, Queensland, everywhere, it was the time when there was a lot of climate action protests. People were really making a point about global warming and climate change as an exacerbating factor to the fires that summer. And I think it sends a very powerful message on the future and what we might need to do to prevent the likelihood of fires at this scale again.